Hello, it's the 7th of June already and that means it's the third Sunday in Stash Dash so I am back with another video looking at what I've made this week and just a little bit of general chat. Um, I have got a couple of things that have mostly finished and a couple of things I've been working on. First of all, a hoe as we call it, non-knitting friends and family, a hoe is a half finished object. And I have got one tiny booty. Hopefully you can see. So I just finished that today and I need to cast on the second one. I've got a friend who's expecting and I'm not sure what they're having. I don't know if they know what they're having either. Um, but it's always handy to have a few little pairs of booties in the, in the stash. So I'll be making a few different coloured ones. Not all just gender typical colours either. I have also almost finished my rockweed cushion cover. So here we have it. Try and hold it kind of still. It's a bit awkward because I haven't got the buttons yet. Uh, I've got buttons on order so it's kind of wiggling around a tad. In fact, I'm going to pause and put the cushion inside. I should have thought of that earlier. Okay, there we go. That's maybe a bit easier to see on the back. So yeah, I've got buttons ordered from Tribe Yarns and their textile garden buttons. So hopefully they'll arrive in the next few days and get those sewn on. Um, once again, I have got some crochet squares for my blanket and I laid out all the squares yesterday uh, to figure out the layout and just to make sure that I did have a even number that would fit into a solid shape. Um, so I actually have exactly the right number of squares to match all of the yarn that I was donated for the blanket. Um, so I have about nine still to make, it's still laid out behind the camera at the moment. Yeah, about nine squares still to make and that uses up exactly all the yarn I was donated and makes an 80 square blanket, so 8 by 10, which is quite a nice size, I think. And my other blanket project is my Cozy Memories blanket. And this week I've only made two squares, these two here. Um, this, I think, is from Rusty Ferret. I might be wrong, but I seem to think I got that at Ferret Fest or one of Leona's other parties in the shop and I've got no idea what this is. So yep that's another one more row finished so next week I'll be starting with a square here which is again the same yarn as I've been working with this week but I knit that one a long while ago. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to pop in there. Then I have one other knitting project that I have been working on a little bit more than the rest this week, which is my Roy Boss hat by Claire Devine. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's one of these words that everybody seems to pronounce slightly differently and I'm not South African, so I'm obviously not going to pronounce it perfectly, but hopefully you know what I mean at least. Um, so yeah, I've gotten into the lace section beyond the rib. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see through but maybe if I pop my project bag in, you'll be able to pick up a little bit of the pattern. But that's had a bit of work um, put into it. So hopefully I'll have that finished by next week. And the booties as well. I'm hoping I'll finish the second booty through the week. My cross stitch is coming along. If anybody's interested, I'm not going to chat about this very much, but we've got a fair bit of progress so this yellow will come down to about here and then there's a whole belt buckle section that goes on down here so it's moving slowly. The final thing that I wanted to talk about today is not something that I've done a lot of verbal speaking about but if you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook you'll know that I have been chatting a fair bit about this in the past year and a half. Um, which is racism and anti-racism 
and obviously I am a white person and I don't have anything original to add and it's not really my place to be holding forth in a great way about this but I know that there will be people that watch this video and my other videos who have never really engaged beyond just thinking well I don't go around calling people racist names I'm not racist thinking job done and it's really not job done if you've spent any time reading from people of color especially people who are actively trying to educate you'll know that it's not just about racial slurs racism is a massive structural problem that has existed for centuries people think that the end of slavery meant that there was no longer a problem it's just not true it, it pervades in every area of life and I just really wanted to say that if you are in that stage where you just think well you know I'm a, I'm a good person I I don't know that I need to be told anything more you know if you're on social media and you just skip past posts about this please spend even 15 minutes today or in the next couple of days and go and read something. I'll put some links in the description box below. Especially if you feel defensive about it, please just go and have a little read. It's not an area that, or, or a project, so anti-racism is not a thing that is a set task that everybody does in the same way and you get to the end of the course and you're sorted. It is a conscious effort every day to do what you can to dismantle it and to help people but also to understand people, to understand things like microaggressions. Sorry there's a lot of traffic noise. Um, you're, you're never, no one person is ever going to solve it and nobody expects you to but there's been a lot of local chat on Facebook about a vigil that was organised this weekend and a lot of people say no I don't think you should judge people by their skin colour so I don't see colour and if you've never spent any time thinking about this or listening to other people about it you might think that that's the way to be but obviously you shouldn't be discriminating against people because of the colour of their skin but if you ignore the colour of their skin in all aspects of life you're ignoring all sorts of issues that they have to face that you don't even realise are happening um, yeah I could ramble on but I'm good to put some links that are to people that speak more eloquently but I do think very strongly that each of us has a responsibility to bring this up with other white friends and family um, don't just fall into the trap of thinking it's so important to listen to people of colour that you shouldn't speak and that I shouldn't speak um, if the people in your real lives, your real lives, you know, your family and friends that you see and colleagues, if they are not engaging with anti-racism, they're not following anybody on social media, they're not reading any books, then you are probably the person that can reach out to them and draw them into it, you know. If they're not looking at it, then they're not going to learn about it. So you can't just assume that because there are lots of educators out there that the message will get through and certainly for some people, sorry some white people, they don't think that people of colour have got um, messages worth listening to so they're more inclined to listen to somebody white telling them about it which is obviously not how it should be but if we want change to happen we sometimes have to accept that the way that would be the perfect way for change to happen is not actually realistically the way that it will happen if that makes sense so yeah people that have not engaged 
please go and spend even 10, 15 minutes reading something and then try again the next day and the next day. I've felt defensive at different times. There are things that I still get wrong. There are things that I've not engaged with as well as I should. There have been times that I have felt reluctant to spend money, uh, donate money. Um, I'm maybe more likely to spend money with with black makers and people of colour who are yarn dyers and pattern writers and so on. But there have been times where I thought, oh no, I don't have the money to spare to donate to a cause. And really, I did have the money. So yeah, I think everybody has got stuff that they can improve on and I'm certainly not excluded from that. But every day, or whenever it occurs to me, I think about it and I try and that sounds a bit strange. What I mean is that if I have spent a couple of days and I've not engaged with something, if I feel that I've maybe skipped past some posts because I felt overwhelmed about other things or I feel bad that I haven't finished a book as quickly as I think I should, I just think, well, every day is a new day. Every day is another chance to start again and to try and keep on trying. You just can't get stuck thinking, well, because up till now I haven't done very well and so why would I bother because I'm clearly a failure already. You need to do this every day for the rest of your life. Uh, so you can't think like that. You need to every day start again, keep on trying and not get sunk into thinking that because you haven't always done the best job ever, that any job you do will not be effective. I said about three minutes ago that I was going to stop rambling and I am going to stop now, but I'm sure I'll speak about it again. And I really hope that that does not cause you to turn off because it's really important. It's crucially important and it's every white person's responsibility to get involved and to be part of the movement to improve things. So, yeah. I'm going to finish with a little bit of footage of my Ace Light shawl after I had taken it off the blocking wires because I feel like I haven't really shown that project to its best uh, in these videos because the first week I hadn't blocked it yet, last week you only saw it on the blocking wires. So. That'll be the last little bit of footage and next week I'll be back and we'll see how much knitting I've got done. Take care. Bye. Just thought I would show you my Ace Light shawl now that it's off the blocking mats. As ever, I have done my bind off a little bit tight along the top, um, but hey ho. And yeah, it's, it's very nice. It's got a nice drape with it. So I'm very pleased with it.